I've been coaching Valorant for over two years now and have helped many players reach unfathomable goals, but I realize this knowledge has been gatekept behind a paywall, causing many players to be unable to improve. You guys have shown me incredible support the last few months, and thanks to this, I'm aware now, more than ever, that you deserve a reward. Here's a 30 day routine that if you follow I guarantee will get you to plat. If it doesn't, I will personally coach you until you do. Without any further ado, here's the guide. First up, we're going to start in the range and for all these routines you will only use the Vandal and be doing a 2 shot into a strafe. This will be our primary fighting style during our training and during our games so it's vital that you have this down. This is near the game's limit for how fast a player can shoot accurately while also being the hardest target to hit. Your very first practice will be practice bots with no strafe. Simply start by tracking a bot's head when it moves left and right. Shoot at the stop of every movement. You want to get comfortable having your crosser on their head when you stop. Do this for 30 seconds or until you feel ready to move on and your goal is to have a 90% accuracy. Next up is medium bots. When the bot spawns, just do a slight strafe to correct, followed by aim. When you stop moving, your crosser should be near their head and you can let out a two shot. Do this for every bot that spawns. Your goal for this practice is 25 medium bots out of 30. Now we're going to do eliminate 50 strafe. When you start this, you have to wait for the bot to move and then do your strafe into a two shot strafe. You will do this for every bot that spawns until the end of eliminate 50. Your goal is to finish this in 110 seconds. Now we're done with the range and we're going to apply this in death matches. You're going to do two death matches a day with 90% of the fights to be taken in the two shot strafe. Each death match you play should be used to train pre-aiming or cross your placement. Do not focus on getting kills, do not focus on winning, only having your crosser prepared to take off your enemy's head before fighting them. I will also link a video to help you focus on this as you play. You will be playing 3 games a day. In your games, 90% of fights should be taken in the 2 shot strafe. And you must make decisions based on teammates first, try to benefit your teammates play in any way. If they're fighting, fight with them, or hold an angle for them. If they're playing more aggressive than they should be, go play aggressive with them. If they're using an ability, try to play off what that ability is doing. Second is making decisions based on your abilities. Abilities are the surefire way to gain an advantage in any situation. You must use abilities when you are going in first, you are fighting any enemy who is holding you, or you are fighting multiple enemies. Do not use abilities when your teammates are fighting in front of you, you should be fighting with them, you are lurking, flanking, and have yet to be spotted, and you are not there to play off your utility. Here's an example of what this looks like. So we're on Yoru, we're thinking of throwing a TP here, but if you can see my gecko right now, he's getting ready to throw a flash for me. So I'm actually going to take the early peek with this flash, end up getting one, after we get one, are we playing around a teammate or an ability? You can see we pull the TP out and just chuck it. This allows us to go for another in a safe area. And then boom, we get another. Can keep going, right? Because TP is still up. Too much risk. We try to TP out. Doesn't work out. We played around the ability. Finally, you must follow the two man rule. If you are down by two man, you must make a risky play, such as pushing deeper into enemy territory to get a timing. If you are up by two men, you must stop taking risks, such as regrouping behind teammates to trade them. Keep in mind you should only stick to one agent and follow these practices. If you follow this routine for two weeks and see no significant improvement following the practices and reaching the goals, I will uphold my original guarantee and personally coach you until you reach flat.